What's up, guys? Kevin here with Pog Pogs, and uh, we're doing Pac Man. Simple as that, Pac Man. You can already hear you saying, okay, but that's not Speed Duels. This is Goat Format. Well, yeah. I'm just going to exit some differences between the deck as well as we go through the deck list. Now, <clears throat> one of the things you'll notice here uh, automatically is the inclusion of things like level limit area B and gravity bind um, to make sure that your opponent doesn't attack your monsters you get everything off we don't have that in speed duels don't worry everything's fine I promise everything's fine so without further ado let's get into it first things first right we're going to night assailant why night assailant's good it's a great card if it gets discarded off your opponent's effect you're gonna get another one back from your graveyard great moving on to Deslacuda. Why only two Deslacuda, Kevin? So, the theory here is that in speed duels, having more resources than your opponent is always good, as is in regular in regular Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, but, in speed duels, it's more important for your opponent not to have resources, and you have more than what they don't have, um, than it is for your opponent to have resources and have more than they do have, if that makes any sense. Um, if you don't get it, don't worry about it, just play two is too much. You're not going to do anything with it. You're going to draw cards. You're going to deck yourself out before anything else. Okay? This is a slow burn deck. Uh, not, not actual burn, but it's a slow burn. Not burn. Slow roast. We'll call it a slow roast. Saying slow burn is too weird. It's a slow roast. <laughs> Moving on. Two Swarm Scarabs. This destroys monsters when it's flip summoned. Um, I only play two. Why? Got two nice sailing doing the same thing, except they're flip effect. So I only play two. Three swarm of locusts. Why? Because it's our own back row removal. It's good. Uh, these three can flip themselves face down. That's, that's all you really need to know. They have effects when you flip some of them, which is draw a card, destroy a monster, destroy a spell or trap, and they flip themselves back face down. Uh, moving on. Three book of moon. Super duper staple um, for literally the whole format and moving forward if anyone actually makes a video and says is this viable they're just wasting your time and their time please please do not watch those types of videos i don't know if anything like that exists at this moment but uh if it does don't waste your time please if you actually want to learn more about this card and people actually putting out more stuff on how useful it can be fine yeah sure go ahead i don't care um but if somebody's actually questioning whether whether or not this is meta viable don't watch that. You're going to waste your time. You're going to waste. They're, they're wasting their time. Um, Answer is yes. Simple, sweet, and short. Um, moving on. Three negate attack. Ooh, I love negate attack. This card is so great. I'm so glad we added this in speed duels. Um, I don't know what it does. When your opponent's monster declares an attack, target the attacking monster, negate the attack, and then end the battle phase. Might as well in speed duels say, then, <laughs> then end the turn. Uh, go to end phase. <laughs> Because literally, that's what's going to happen. Uh, plus, we don't have a main phase too. Moving on. Three Wabaku. Okay, then why Wabaku? Because it's an actual card that's not a battle trap. That Oh, by the way, let's actually hold on. I want to I stop there. This is a, a, a counter trap. And it's never been changed. There's no need for it to be a counter trap. Excuse me. Mom. <laughs> There's no need for it. Excuse me. There's no need for it to be a counter trap. But it still is. So, bye-bye. Um, <laughs> Oh my god, there's no reason for this to be a, a counter trap, but it's it is, and so there's not much that can be responded to when this comes into play. Makes it great. Wabaku. <clears throat> What's so great about Wabaku? Why why are we playing in Pac-Man? Uh it still allows you to attack through and uh, and flip these up so you don't get their effects. Here's the thing though, right? If you're playing Wabaku, let's say you have Swarm of Scared, oh let's just do Deslacuda, right? You have Deslacuda set uh, with the Wabaku on turn one. T set, right? And your opponent goes to swing into this, you activate Wabaku, it's not going to get destroyed. But the question becomes, well, how do I get its effect off? Well, if you didn't know during your, your next turn, you just activate the effect, flip it face down, and uh, you can change his battle position because it wasn't summoned that turn. It, it's that simple. Um, so Wabaku is, in essence, uh, just another version of negate attack. Negate attack keeps these face down, Wabaku doesn't, but you're going to be flipping things face face down. Um, it's all about resource management um, and knowing whether things are going to be up or down. Um, so that's all it really is. Last card. Um, I, I don't want to call it budget. I want to call it um, 
generic <laughs> off-brand off-brand yeah, this is off-brand Sekiretsu armor really it, it kind of really is uh, so you know what it does when an opponent's monster declares an attack destroy the attack position monster your opponent controls with the highest attack your choice of type um, it's almost Sekiretsu armor it, it's literally just again off-brand Sekiretsu yes it can be destroyed by card effects cosmic cyclone and, and the likes but hmm, you know I'd rather play it than not play it and say, man, I wish I needed it. <laughs> um, you're really just trying to control resources here. Uh, literally, that's the whole point of Pac-Man. It's, it's, it's a type of lockdown deck. It's a type of uh, control aspect. Uh, Flip-flop control, some people like to call it that. But uh, this is Pac-Man, mainly for the fact that we're playing Dust Lakuta. Um, I think that's what separates Pac-Man from flip-flop uh, strategies. Um, so yeah, we're going to have a lot of great cards here. Uh, I want to talk about Book of Moon a little bit more before I go into anything else. Um, so Book of Moon in this deck can be used offensively and defensively. Let me explain. If you've protected a Knight Assailant uh, with a Wabaku or a Negate Attack, and then you decided, ah, I'm going to Book of Moon it on my turn, or your opponent's turn again when they attack into it, um, you know, <laughs> you can get another use out of it. Um, in essence, Night Assailant makes Book of Moon a one for one. Uh, well, actually, let's do some card economics here, right? Uh, so, summoning Night Assailant and setting one of these, it's two cards you've used. Your opponent summons one, and uh, when they attack into this, you flip this, uh, you get to destroy. Um, so, so far, that's been two. Uh, that's been break even, actually. And then flipping this and then flipping it back up um, makes it break even again so with three cards you still break even <laughs> uh, is it really break even though yes because this stays on field um, and it does it multiple times oops it does it multiple times um, so yeah <laughs> now there is another deck list floating around that I believe uh, Gregorio has made if you don't know that name uh, you might know him better on dueling book when he plays speed duels by the name of free squee um, <clears throat> really talented player really great player um you know practically made uh moth what it is today uh, perfected it um i'm sure a lot of people would agree with that statement uh had adapted it perfected it for the the previous formats however i don't like his build <laughs> shocker right um so in his build he plays three deaths uh three scarabs and three locusts and uh, from there on, um, the gate attack is Windstorm. And that's literally it. Those are the only changes that are in here. And um, I saw that list after I made this. So, you know. And I'm sure, um, you know, maybe the Windstorms are, were supposed to be negate attacks. I, I don't know. I like the idea of Windstorm um, for the fact that it is responsive to back row removal. But at the same time, I don't like it because there are ways around it once people know that you're playing it. Same thing with Negate Attack, but I feel like Negate Attack is just a little bit better. Um, maybe for that, for the fact that Negate Attack will do something that Windstorm doesn't, where there's not really a way to play around Negate Attack with the positions of your monsters. Um, it literally will just end the turn for your opponent. Um, other thing, like I said, that's different is the monster lineup. Um, for his, it was three deaths, three scarabs, and three locusts. You can see I've kept the amount of monsters the same um, at, at nine, except on my build, um, I play two scarabs and two deaths, and uh, three nice and Maybe for the again, the fact that we're playing Book of Moon, this comes as a surprise to some people. Um, yes, by the way, people are going to say, hey, but doesn't No Woman Across that exist? Yes, it does. Thank you for reminding me. Um, but you have protection for life points and all that jazz. So, <clears throat> with that being said, I love this deck. And I can't wait to see what it does um, moving forward. I think it does a lot, honestly. Um, especially when people aren't expecting it. Um, again, the side down here will be um, updated for whatever the meta turns out to be. It will play those anti-meta cards for sure. Um, that we can play. Uh, another thing you have to be worried about when you play this deck, though, is attacking. <laughs> attacking kind of sucks. Um, but seeing as how you can flip attack um, and 
then next turn flip it down if you, as long as you have some type of protection, um, it's fine. Um, main phase two does not, not having a main phase two does not harm this deck that much. It would be nice to have a main phase two, especially for these guys, right? But if you don't have it, it's fine. Um, because again, they flip themselves down during the next turn and still be able to flip themselves up. Um, there's not much of a difference. Uh, Wabaku's the best thing. Uh, negate attack, second best thing. And widespread ruin, third best trap. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to say, but Kevin, what about Jinzo? If you don't have an out to Jinzo, we have, what, five outs to Jinzo on their turn? And, um, technically, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on our turn. I like my odds. So, with that being said, what would you guys change about this? Do you like it? Um, would you play it? I think you should play it, even if it's just for fun. If you have some free tournaments that you can play, definitely play this. It's a lot of fun. Playing locals, whenever we get back to actual IRL locals, have fun with it. Play it. Um, with that being said, that's going to be it for me today, guys. Um, don't forget to leave a like, comment, maybe subscribe, a share here or there, and uh, check out all the links down below, you know, past uh, Pac-Man video describing what Pac-Man is, as well as, um, oh, you know what? I'm a dumb. <laughs> Let's talk about skills real quick. You can play literally any skill. You want to play Twisted Personality, you can play Twisted, Twisted Personality. You want to play, I don't know, No More Mrs. Nice My. I don't know why you would, but if you do, good for you. Um, literally anything that's basically generic super duper nice in this deck we're not gonna go too into it you can look up all the skills yourselves you guys are smart um but with that being said again i want to finish it now don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe maybe a share here or there go check out all the links down below all the discords tetras ours um and don't forget to check out the other video for pac-man that we made previously and uh yeah it's gonna be it for me you guys until next time this was kevin with pog pogs see ya